Hello and welcome to part three of this tutorial series where we will cover foliage. Foliage creation uh, over the whole landscape. We can use this feature from landscaping um, create procedural foliage volume. This is a feature which comes back from UA4 days. So it basically only creates um, procedural foliage volume with the extents of the landscape. First of all, we have to make sure that uh, the feature is enabled in the editor preferences. Then we have to create a foliage spawner. The foliage spawner uh, will also need additional assets like static mesh foliage. Name it test spawner, that's fine. Here we have to assign the foliage types which are static mesh foliage. I use trees from a free asset from the marketplace. I paste the link below so you can follow along. And in the details from uh, this foliage type, I only set the occlusion landscape layer in placement advanced to make sure that the trees are only spawned in the uh, appropriate paint layer forest. We painted the river with the mud layer, so the, I expect that it only spawns on the rest of the landscape, but not on the river. Assign it here in the test spawner. Now we can add it through the landscaping plugin. It will create um, procedural foliage volume with the extents of the landscape. And here, scroll down and we can click resimulate. And after a short while, the whole landscape will be covered with trees. The procedural foliage tool is not very performant, so if you have very large landscape, it might run out of memory. Please keep this in mind. So the fix for that would be to make the procedural foliage volume uh, smaller. But for here it works. We have a landscape which is not too big for the procedural foliage tool and trees are everywhere except the river. I will come back to um, the river material later because now we don't see the river. But it's a material issue. Also we have a scaling issue which can be solved very quickly. I will come back to that later in the last part of the tutorial. So build texture streaming is always a good idea to do this. And we have a performance issue. Also, we have another issue here, which will you encounter when you try to build a landscape because the splines from the river have a reference to the landscape and the landscape is not partially loaded through world composition. So to fix this while you are working on it, while you're working on um, your landscape, just untick is spatially loaded and the map check will not complain anymore. After the um, after you're finished working on it and you want to make a build, just delete the references in spline actors, with the references to the landscape. You will find it uh, in the details panel also. You can just delete it, it's fine. So we are still having this warning here in the screen. So 
when we build our landscape it will not complain about the references anymore but we still have uh, memory exhausted and we will look into um, the lightning settings and also into the nanite settings of the trees but first let's have a look at the rendering and scroll down to find uh, lumen and we want to disable static lightning also should be lumen yeah i see lumen is right lumen and then further down there must be allow static lightning and we don't want to allow static lightning yeah untick it here and we have to restart the editor to make this take effect also we can use um, we can make use of nanite if the mesh supports this in the material but I'm not sure let's have a look if this works mm, no it doesn't seem to be good but anyway we can leave it uh, for now we want to um, have a look at the options yeah we want to spawn less trees and also we don't align to normal because trees grow straight up so this is important and we make the collision radius a little bit higher yeah also can grow in shade spawn in shade is, is normally good then <coughs> we can just re-simulate it and this should be fine a little bit less, less dense and also because we disabled static lightning we can now um, go back and disable nanite support for this mesh because it doesn't make sense when it doesn't support it and we should be fine yeah there's no warning that's good next up in this series is weight maps so stay tuned